why does it matter if, if the law is the law that we have women on the bench or we have blacks on the bench or does it matter if we had all women on the Supreme Court? What difference does that make? It should make none. None. I want to emphasize that. I'm glad you asked me that question. It should make no difference how that person who's sitting up there looks. The law is the same for men and for women. We bring a different perspective, but the law is the same for men or for women. And I think the American dream, or um, Americana, is such that we, sh we wouldn't even notice whether it's a man or a woman up there, or black or white or an Asian, whatever. We, if we reach that American dream, we, sh we wouldn't notice that. And we're getting better but we haven't reached it yet. And you know, I, I wonder, <clears throat> when we say the law is the law, sometimes, <laughs> would I be correct, I've not been a judge or even a lawyer, that there's always that gray area we say of the law. Is that where the perspective, the human experience comes to play, or, or <clears throat> do you not, as an example, when uh, you being the first woman, well then you were the first mother to sit uh, yes. as a member yes. of the court. Did you find that cases would come up where that your, your life experiences, which were different than your male counterparts, uh, played a role in the way that you either interpreted the case, not necessarily applied the law, but that they maybe picked up on some elements of the case, perhaps stood out to you more than your male counterparts? You're very correct. We, each of us, are product of our experiences in our backgrounds. and. Um, what we bring to the court is what we have been all our lives, our education and our experiences. Women's experiences have been different than men's for the very reasons that you articulated. Um, women, um, in, they don't really interpret law different, but they bring a different perspective, a different attitude towards the, uh, towards the law. For example, uh, when I went on to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court um, appoints committees and there were one or two committees that had 20 members on it and they were all men. It isn't that the men who were on the court and who made these appointments um, meant to eliminate women they, uh, or, or denigrated women in any way. They just didn't, it didn't even, they didn't notice that there were no women on those committees. It's just a matter of uh, of, of enlightening a little bit, uh, which is what I did. There are no women on these committees. Or, but it's just a matter of, of approach, really, and perspective. The interpretation of the law should be similar or the same. But we come with different backgrounds, and we're supposed to bring that to the bench.